Look, mate, if you want a video where you just jump straight into the video and then the guy just does it and then you watch him do it, then you're not going to get this done. This this fight is a f***ing whore, it, honestly, mate, right? And if, if you've done it as many times as I've done, your mood's going to be like mine. I've done it, then I did it again. So I apologize for my profanity, but you probably understand at this point. Okay, a couple of things that a lot of the other guides don't explain to you. Right, you need, absolutely need Deadly Boss mods, uh, the Legion Mage Tower version of Deadly Boss. You absolutely f***ing have to have that. There's no no question about it. Um, and you need to have a, you need to have Typhoon spec in your talent tree. Another thing that's really important is any guide that you watch is it's expansion specific. So every, all the other guides, man, that's like from Shadowlands, or oh, pop this pot or pop that pot. The pots don't f***ing exist anymore. So this guide that I'm going to show you, I don't pop any pots. Uh, I don't have any buffs other than the default druid buff. So, um, right, we'll just we'll just crack on, mate. Like, and, and don't be under any illusions. You're not going to just watch this video or any other video and just do it. It's not going to happen, man. You, you, it, 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 dozens, hundreds of times before you actually crack it. And the fight's broken into two phases. You've got phase one, which is that um, skeleton-looking motherfucker. And then you've got uh, a high, you know, high Lord Drool at the end, who's an absolute f***ing twat. But th the first phase is quite actually easy once you know what's going on. And there's a lot of things happening in that fight. Again, the guys don't tell you because the guy's too busy flexing. What the f*** up, man? Just tell people how he did it and just take the W. So this thing, right. But the second phase, Drool, mate, there's so much RNG that you've... <laughs> It's, it's one of them. That's a bit loud. Right. Let's hop in. Right. Another thing that's quite useful. I apologize. I'm going to have to zoom in as I'm editing this, but <laughs> you might notice my screen is rather wide. So I'm, I'm playing WoW on a 5140 by 1440. It's a Dell U49 19DW massive, like 49 inch wide screen. That helps significantly, mate, because you can see a lot of shit going on. I don't know why I'm bleeping out. It doesn't matter. Right. Let's crack on. So this is my. As you can see, I've already done it, and I'm going through the madness of doing it again. Talent tree. This is going to, again, change depending on what expansion you're at, but as this is 10.0.5, I think, the, the patch that basically f***ed everyone's add-ons up. Um, to turn off all your add-ons. You want as little shit going on in the screen other than deadly boss mods. That's all you need. And make sure you can hear the, the, the bitch fucking talking, right? That's what you want. So you need Typhoon, and you absolutely must have that talent, this one here, uh, there, in set, like, the one that reduces the cooldown of Typhoon. Now, if that doesn't exist in the future expansion, mate, sucks to be you. I don't know what to tell you, man. Look for something else. You need two interrupts. So you've got your, your normal Druid kick, right? Spell bash or whatever the hell it's called, and then Typhoon. So those are my talents, right? Uh... Uh, the ones that are really useful are Berserk, where you can just spam Frenzied Regeneration and the Thrash loses its cooldown. That one's really important. Uh, the Rage of the Sleep is quite important. Heart of uh, the Wild is quite important as well in the, in the, in the Drool phase. Other than that, uh, you'll see when I get to the drill phase that there's a lot of RNG happening that actually makes this go on. But the first phase, right, I'm going to break this down because I, I do it quite chill. Um, if you like me when you first started this, you went, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking dragon flight geared, mate. I'm just going to walk in here and just slap him into next week in one... No, mate, no. It scales you down to Legion gear. So um, <laughs> you've got it. But you, you pay dragon flight repair bills, right? So you start off... Um, I start off in... in in Moonkin form. This bit doesn't matter, it's just, an, it's just a tiny bit of damage. So as soon as he spawns, stand as close to this little ring of... Di right, and this is important as well. It's another thing, another f***ing guides don't tell you. This ring is really important, because if you, when you stand in this, you get a stacking debuff. And when that debuff gets to about 9, it you, you basically just... It's instant death. So I just stand outside of here, spam uh, a couple of Wraths, uh, a moon fire, sun fire, and then pretty much instantly afterwards he's going to spawn an eye. You want to turn and moon fire that eye, right? And then you just need to make... Whenever you see this thing appear and you see like a green laser coming towards you, just turn to it, tab, and just doff the shit out of it. You need to get rid of these things super quick. So once he's down, right, you just turn back to him, you can... You, you, Right, again, there's so much going on, man. It's so infuriating. This fight's a fucking whore. 
but it's really satisfying once you actually get it finished. So you'll hear the deadly boss mods last say uh, interrupt. Light. Maybe I did it before she did that, but he casts a spell called Drain Life. And whenever he does that and you see interrupt or drain life, you need to you need to either typhoon him or skull bash him. I think it's skull bash is the one it's called. But ideally typhoon, because you want to get this twat away from Velen, who's absolutely useless. He's about as useful as a supermarket own brand toilet paper. He's absolutely hopeless. So get him away from Velen. Right. In the phase between his first drain life and these portals appearing, just don't pop all your cooldowns because you need to save those. But I've got um, Convoke the Spirits specced in. Again, that might disappear in a future expansion, but it just unleashes like all holy hell on him and just. So it just does a bit of DPS and a bit of downtime. So I get that done, but you can. Uh, no, you can't see the stacks because uh, it's off the edge of the screen. Class Neil, well done, mate. Well done. Can I come to uh, half the screen? No, that's absolutely useless. But there's a debuff stacking up here. Which you want to, you'll hear de deadly boss mods go stacks high, and as soon as you hear that, just get the shit out of that circle, just get out of it. The DPS, run out of the circle. So there are five stacks. When you get to about five stacks, you want to get out. Right, this phase is the the most important phase in the whole of the the, the first encounter with this bony twat. These nether horrors spawn out of the portals but there's all sorts of other things going on as soon as these spawn right just turn dot with moonfire turn dot with moonfire turn dot dot and then run towards this orb this orb is the th th this you can't survive without this orb when you run over this orb it stuns and interrupts all the ads and then it it heals you but it also interrupts uh, Bony Boy over there as well, if he happens to be cast in Drain Life. There's a lot of RNG in this first phase as well, but you can manage that. So you want to dot them, let them run to you, but stand... But mate, right, t t speaking from experience, do not ever stand in front of Velen when you're just chilling. Because if he spawns that orb, and you use the orb, and there's nothing happening at the time that you need the orb for, you're as good as f you can get away with it by because what these ads do these cast a, a, these all cast something which if they do it enough times I think it's mixed with the stacks it just again basically wipes you so you need to gather them all around here start thrashing them run over the orb you can see they start getting all disoriented and then just thrash them down they should go down pretty quickly right there's an eye spawn dot that and then just that that's the ad, the first ad phase gone. So you get the four horrors down, get rid of that eye, and there's just a bit, there's like a few seconds of chill time, so just charge into Bony Boy, and then just unleash holy hell on him, right? Don't yeah, don't pop your damage cooldowns or anything like that, you need those later. So just maul, thrash, swipe, mangle the, the lot, just do a couple of things, get to about five stacks, and then run out of the circle. And then the net, it just rinse, then it pretty much, no, it doesn't rinse and repeat because, oh, these guys here. Right, these infernals. You need to focus on these super, super hard because they do that not, you've, you've probably been knocked off the platform by now. You want to run around in these guys in circles, but as soon as they spawn, focus on these guys and then just run around in a circle because you can see they, they spawn this thing and it, the, this fight's so laggy. I've had. I've had to reload my interface tons of times because I've been, you know, thrashing and it's not actually been working. And you can see, like, the actual action of the th of the of the knockback doesn't coincide with the actual animation rigging of the character. See, it like it smashes and then it, it happens. So sometimes it's like a big lag on that, but you just want to run around in a circle so that by the time he does cast it, you're on the back of him. DPS, big dig DPS, the shit out of that guy. Dot him up, but prio these little eyes here. So I saw one spawn, I see the green laser, dot him, uh, and then the ad starts spawning again. And now it's just it's just managing lots of things going on, but it's pretty much the same thing. Dot the horrors. So moonfire, moonfire, tab that one, tab that one, gather them around the orb. The orb also damages the inferno. And, uh, and there he's gone. Thrash the horrors down. There's an eye over there, so I'll dot him up. And then 
I should kill him. Oh, he's dead anyway. Right. You heard the deadly boss mods last there say interrupt. Interrupt. There it is. Interrupt. And that's him casting Drain Life. The second he casts that, you just want to just like stop what you're doing, drop down tools, and then just either char try not to use your charge because if you ever do get hit with a knockback you want to hit charge immediately so you could just like your knockback and you can charge straight back in but if you don't have any infernals up um you can charge towards them or just typhoon them away like that and after that interrupts them so there's nothing going on there's no ads up i can do a bit more dps on him your dps directly on him doesn't really do much damage it's mostly the orbs that that knock him back so yeah get the stacks manageable to about five walk away from him and then at this point i think i just like i'm absolutely destroyed by this point so i think i just take a bit of a chill i'm just like <laughs> i can't be asked to dps you mate you just do your thing i'm gonna let the art spawn so they come out the portals again right dot four of them each corner tab tab dot dot he started casting his thing again an idiot so you, you interrupt him knock him back just get him away from valen because if he spawns this ring of death over the orbs then you're constantly getting stacked so you want to dot 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 these run over the orb again and just thrash them down uh, if at any point you do accidentally run over the orb and there these ads are here you can't make sure you can't you um talent in oh what the hell is it called man that um the 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 raw that disorients all adds around you you can use that to to break their spell cast as well right there's an eye there i need to tab and dot that i do good right and then you can see this one here there's so much to manage because whilst you're concentrating on dotting him he's casting this and i was stood there and that's going to potentially knock me back but fortunately i had that covered so then start dps the shit out of this guy get rid of him because the more of these guys there are the more chance you are going to get knocked back so you dot him, dot him, just spam Moonfire, because magic... It's another thing with these eyes. You, physical damage doesn't work on them. You have to use magical damage. There's another one. These ones are bigger. The, these ones have a bigger knockback than the smaller ones. So dot him, turn to him, just screw this guy up. <laughs> just get rid of him. Just wipe him off the face of the planet. There's an orb again. Always always have an orb ready when all of these four ads spawn because you, you do you need that so gather them towards the orb run over the orb rinse and repeat thrash them down get rid of the eye uh, and now the now bony boy should be getting lower on hp now uh a bit of downtime i can charge him on him on him i think i used convoke the spirits here again just a bit of dps uh that, that did knock his hp down quite a bit actually uh and i, I don't know how like there's too much going on for us to check he's these debuffs and stuff but i think there's a chance that after the ads have spawned he might take increased damage i don't know but um you want to just ignore doing any dps on him until you've got rid of those horrors and there's none of these uh, boulder boys up right now it's now it's drool oh my life this is right there's a there's so much rng there's no answer to how to do this right there's no choreography involved there's a little bit but You've just you've just got to hope the stars align. Uh, I did this, and it took me another hour before I could do it again. So he, this cruel spawns. You want to dot them up, but you can see here there's a there's an orb in the middle. These orbs, you you, you need to be at least in two seconds range of these orbs, or have stampede and roar ready to charge towards them. So cruel spawns. When he spawns, in the first few seconds, you can just take it a bit chill. You can just, like, maul him, mangle him. Uh, you can thrash. Make sure you get rid of the ads, though, because there's so many infernals. You'll just get, like, smacked around the platform and then off you trot. So you want to moonfire those down. And you'll hear deadly boss mods say defensive mode. As soon as you hear that, that's the point. You want to pop literally everything. You want to pop... Uh, bark skin you want to pop heart of the wild you want to pop berserk and then you just start spamming frenzied regeneration uh, another good talent to have as well is then there's a new one in dragonflight again apologies if this is a future expansion it's gone but in the new dragonflight patch that's just come out when you use iron fur it deals damage back to attackers so just start spamming iron fur uh, and as i've also got lunar light this one here as well which pops like a circle around the ground none of that's not needed it's just an extra bit right so he spawns and there's all kinds of things going on here it's ridiculous that's why you need as little spam on the screen as possible these blue 
so crossy blind that you don't you don't need to worry about those right it looks like you have to kind of maneuver between the gaps but when you do that you start running over things you really don't want to run over so gruel starts spawning these like lung butter vomit patches on the ground as soon as he does that you want to get the f out of those as fast as possible and you want to keep him away from velen because if if he spawns one of these green patches over the orbs then you're going to pretty much die running towards an orb and you don't want that to happen uh, which i think i might have done this one but when the infernal spawn again just try and concentrate on those in the early stages get rid of as many ads as possible because they just make the, the whole encounter possible you can see they're doing their knockbacks uh, and drew uh, drool <laughs> casts twisted reflection don't know what it does but you'll hear dbm again that's why you need dbm it says interrupt so as soon as you hear her say that you just want to skull bash him so you do that get get rid of the infernals and then these fuckers are back get rid of these so i'll charge towards this one get shot here and that gets me away from drool a little bit and also from the green patches and you can see your, die, your, your health goes down so fast, so you've got to just kind of micromanage your health. Use a Frenzied, use Rage of the Sleeper. Uh, you, you don't have time to cast any, like, regrowths or anything like that, right? Like, with a cast time. Just forget about that, it's not happening. But just, when you get the horrors together, these start casting their thing, that kills you. So you want to try and keep an eye out on that. There's so many things going on, you want to just see if you can spot that. If you do spot that... You're not going to want to use an orb for that. You want to use your rod to, to, or a typhoon maybe to to, um, to stop those from casting. But you want to run in a circle as well because the last thing you want is for you to be running sideways, 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 sideways because Drool's just going to cast them green and you're just going to end up permanently in a green dot and you'll die. So at this point, I think it's about time that I use an orb. So I run towards the orb, right, and that knocks a lot of health off uh, of Drool. And also the infernal. So at this point, I think the only thing on the platform right now is is Drool. So then uh, start knocking him out, start giving him bit shit, uh, and then right, yeah. And then I don't know what. I honestly don't even know what happens for the health. But as soon as you start seeing your screen flash, you just just pop everything. At, at this point, I've still I don't know if I've still got Berserk up, but I do forget at this point to start using cooldowns that I should have used. At the end of the fight, I still had survival instincts left. <laughs> really? Really? Uh, so I don't, yeah, and I'm in a green patch. I'll get the hell out of that. Yeah, I did use the friends. So the frenzied regeneration at that point saved my ass. Um, bark skin's off cooldown, but I'm just kiting them around. Uh, I fortunately ran between those blue. That was just pure coincidence, but I don't think they would have done much damage to me anyway, even if they did. Just start slapping them about again, right? The horrors are back. And this is where things start to get really manic because you've used an orb and Velen's just, again, up. He's, he's just... Mate, like, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing? Shockwave is when you hear that. You just want to make sure that there's nothing... I mean, I mean, look at this. Look at this mess here. You don't... Which which way are the Infernal's fate? I don't... Who knows, man? Who knows? That's why you need to just get rid of them. So, again, that's where the RNG comes in because if the Infernal is pointing towards you, you're off the platform and you're smacked back in the last week. So you want to get the horrors together, thrash them down. Uh, what cooldowns have I got? I should be popping Frenzy at this point because uh, my health's popping down, but it looks like I didn't. Wow, I dropped really low there. I don't know how I survived that. That might have been a talent I kicked in. <laughs> Honestly, don't know. I don't know how I survived. This is where... The, like, in the, the 30 other attempts that I've done with this, I probably would have died at that point, but you'll have noticed that I did run around that circle there, and I've seen the orb. What I should do at this point is I need to get that orb, like quick time so i should be popping stampede and raw to get to that orb which i do the orb pops and he's in these green patch so just stand outside of that moon Four. fire him down at this point do you know what happens my doorbell goes the amazon drive it and i'm like mate you're staying at the door i'm getting this shit done you don't realize how long i've been working on this All right I'm down to 19 hp at this point so i need to be popping another frenzy i haven't used iron fur at any point because I'm just like, there's so much going on. But you just want to stay out of the green circles, interrupt the ads, swipe them down, get to the orbs, and just try and keep your health up. I, I've used renewal. Uh, oh, the, the ads are back again. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck's going on? 
get out of the circle. Uh, I'm like, I'm running to bed and like, mate, give me an orb. He didn't. He didn't. And then, and then it just, it, and then, then he pops an orb. I'm like, thanks, mate. Cheers, man. Thanks, bro. You got me back there. And then it's done. So many things in that second encounter can just do you in. So when you watch guides and they're just like, oh, <laughs> all you do is just, do, do. no, sh- me shut the f- up, man. Stop gum flapping, man. It's, it's, there's a ton of RNG in this. You just need to get out of the green patch, kill the ads, run to the orb, pop as many cooldowns as you've got for defense, especially when DBM says defensive mode. Right, a- a- another thing I forgot to mention, because there's, mate, this is just absolute just f***ery. He casts something called Twisted Reflection, and you'll hear the DBM last say, interrupt. You've, you've got to interrupt that. So you need to make sure, like, your skull bash is on, is on cooldown. So where are we at? 25, 43. Let's go back three seconds. It, it's so, like, quiet, but you've, as soon as you hear that, just... Uh, uh, uh. So I've got a Razor Naga, all these... Are, so the way I've got my key set up, everyone has different ways of working. But on my Razor Naga, I've got all these top buttons mapped to the thumbs, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. And then these are Alt modifiers, so Alt 1 is that, though, Alt 2, Alt 3, Alt 4. So as soon as I hear Interrupt, it's 7. As soon as I hear, um, I see an Orb, it's Alt 6 to get the you know, Stampede and Roll. You need to be able to get your buttons super quick, or else, again, you, you're not doing this. Uh, and then, they, yeah... I don't know what to tell you, mate, <laughs> other than that, just good luck, because it's just fuckery of the highest degree. Um, and there you go, that's that's the fight. A couple of bits and pieces in there, which other guides don't mention, because you, you you, you're can't. you not just going to watch a video and get it done. You, you need to, to know a few bits and pieces that, that happen. Uh, and even when you know what happens, it's, it's RNG at times. The first phase, fairly manageable. Second phase is just an absolute clusterfuck. Thanks for watching. Good luck, and um, yeah, if you if, if you do, <laughs> if you do manage to do this, go stand outside the mage tower with your new druid bear form, uh, and, f- and just flex, mate, because everyone will just be like, yeah, fair crack, fair crack. Max, mass respect for anyone that actually gets this done. Good luck. <laughs> and, um, oh, I'm never gonna see this thing again. It's. It, it's satisfying, like uh, like receiving a brown letter through the through the letterbox and it being a tax refund rather than a tax bill. It's that kind of levels of satisfying once you get it done. So keep at it. Uh, it costs a fortune in repair bills, but it's worth it. Worth it in the end. All right.